So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is, could be the most exciting small EV this year. So this is the Cherry EQ1. This car is not even been launched yet here in the Philippines. So I'd like to thank everyone here again at Cherry Quezon Avenue to Miss Ruby and to Sir Errol for making this preview possible. So I just came from the Cherry Tigo 5X Pro Comfort Review. Check that out too on my channel. Why I say this could be the most exciting small EV of 2024? Because there's a lot of things that are not even present compared with its competition for example like with the BAW Pony, Jitur Ice Cream and Wooling's Game Boy something so we will know in the future again how, how will this stack up I'm not allowed to say how much the electric motor produces the specs here well some of the specs I can show you but mainly I wasn't allowed to uh, talk about this but anyways so for the design of this EQ1 doesn't it look like a bit of the Toyota IQ? I mean, there's some similarities here and there. I freaking love it. Get halogen lights all around, and then even this have fog lamps. This part just looks exactly the same like with the WMW5, just being honest. And unlike with this competition, you get 15 inch wheels. The competition only have 13. So expect ride comfort for this to be a little bit better. And speaking of, this has just a little way of a longer wheelbase too than usual. And again, being an electric, uh, small electric car rather, there's not much going here on the grill. Well, just small openings here and there. And the biggest surprising factor with this uh, EQ1, opening the hood is one of the strangest ones I've ever encountered. Well, it does give it a bit of a race car vibe. I freaking love it. So this is the electric motor. That's as far as I will go for now. Now here at the side profile and the rear of this EQ1, Okay, this is another big surprise. Well, a uh, little bit of a preview of the interior. Look how big the door opening is. I just like what? Five steps? And oh yeah, forgot. Small car check. Okay, really small. I can do a lot pretty quickly. And here is your charging part. This is why I said to this could be the uh, most exciting small EV you can buy. Hopefully this year is because of this. You have a slow and fast charger. How about that? So... Again, we will know what the charging times are in the future. And here at the rear overall of this EQ1, it does give it a little bit more crossover vibes than usual. Yes, there's cladding here and there, but I'm willing to forgive it because actually the shell of this car seems to be made of plastic. Like with this competition, let's not forget. I think LED tail lights, well, they look pretty cute and pretty bright too. EQ1 badge. And like with this competition too, you have a reverse camera here. Well, some of them do. Uh, reverse sensors here too. Cladding here again. And open the boot up. Well, it's exactly the same like with this competition. It's really small. I can't even fit a seat in here properly. But you can fold this down easily. And unlike with the two competitors I will keep mentioning, once you fold all of the seats down now, it's almost a completely flat first. If you're looking for practicality, this EQ1 could be a, a steel. So underneath too, you get your charging cables. What else is here? Oh, a little bit of a tease. I think if you can see in the shot. So yeah, flat floor, very good. As practical too as the competition. But unlike those, this not only looks as cute as them, this one just looks way better. So this is the interior of the Cherry EQ1. So here in the door card, yeah, there's a lot of plastic, but you get even of touches here for your elbows I mean it's more like with the PVC type and you get gloss black trims everywhere but I'm willing to forgive since this is a small electric car so biggest surprise compared with this competition look at this what the f <laughs> you get electronic adjustments for both front seats I mean there's no height adjustment whatsoever but still electronic recline forwards and backwards Wow! And here overall in the interior, visually, yeah, it looks as fresh and even better than the, I will keep saying apologies, with the competition. One thing retained here, like with the rest of the Cherry models here, the steering wheel. It's exactly the same with its crossover counterpart. So you get your phone connectivity buttons here on the left side. And then you get your volume adjustment, air conditioning control, and then your heater adjustment here. Oh, I've never seen that layout ever so here start it up okay so you're greeted with this kind of old school uh instrument cluster so here are your numerous adjustments and yes you can see the logo this has tire pressure monitoring system and hill descent control how about that again wow i mean as i go here to the interior i promise you guys this 
small EV gets better and better. So here in the left side of the dashboard, you get your headlight leveler adjustments, side mirror adjustments too, and first impression with the steering wheel is really light too. So big uh, surprise here, you get this very massive... <laughs> So, little teaser for you with the speaker. Sounds pretty good for a small EV. I think they're just only two speakers since, again, you only have two doors. So, big highlight for me here is this massive infotainment system. This looks like... Five, six, seven. So, it's like this. So, I think a seven-inch infotainment screen. Very similar to an American brand since it's a vertical screen. So, you can do a lot of stuff like for your air conditioning. I mean, it's no Tesla, but this you can adjust it all here. And this, here's my favorite part. So here for your vehicle settings, you can see its condition. You can change driving modes too from Eco Plus to Sport Mode. Yes, this thing has Sport Mode like with the rest too. Energy recovery. Now this is more like it. So much easier to do on how much region you want for your battery and on the brakes. And then here for your intelligent assistant, for your speed alarm, your again for your air conditioning and for your power. Electronic stability control, god dang! God dang this car! <laughs> so yeah, a bit more high tech now than you should compared with the rest. I gotta be honest, this is more of my jam now even though I'm not much of a techie person with vehicles. Everything, all I want in a small EV is here. And, look above me. This is a manual opening sliding sunroof. This is amazing. This is the only one in its class that has this. Look at that! <laughs> so, such a really promising a small EV already. So I'm getting carried away. Here in the dashboard, again, there's more leather PVC material along with your brushed plastic aluminum trim-ish. And again, unlike with the competition, you do not have a net storage as a glove box, but you have a compartment instead. You can only fit documents, I think even burgers just in there. You will be completely fine. Then here underneath the infotainment system, you get physical buttons for your air conditioning controls and then what's this mode ah that's for the air conditioning as i mentioned and then here for activating eco or sport mode there's a toggle so eco plus can be only be activated here in the infotainment system and then further down below in your center console you have a cubby space the largest cup holder i've ever seen with rubber grips and your rotate gear switch for reverse neutral and drive pretty much the same like in this class of uh, vehicle but I just saw right now underneath there's an extra cubby space 12 volt socket and two USB ports <sighs> wow I want this one so badly now oh yeah sadly though uh, judging what I see here in the infotainment system it's pretty responsive but there's no Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Maybe, I don't know, I, I'm not allowed to connect to this car whatsoever. Continuing here, you have your large hazard button, electronic parking brake, auto hold function, wireless charging pod. I'm fanboying so much with this EQ1 and we're just here in front. So anyways, seats here pretty much similar again in this class you get Mostly leather part here now in the middle and up to your cushion and then you get fabric on the outer layers So bolstering not so much again pretty much the same in this class of vehicle above here an LED light So advisor you even get a vanity mirror Wow There's one extend but it's fine forgivable So getting to the back seat is what surprised me the most Although a little bit of a nitpick watch this Okay, turn you off just to save battery right at a bit of a disadvantage because to get to the back seat you have to wait for quite a while bye once you've dealt with the time of waiting for the seats to move forward this is the space here I think this is the most spacious uh, feet room in this class so near just about all right Oh yeah, this is the issue now, having, of course, I was fun going with the sunroof. Yeah, that's my headroom. I'm 5'4", by the way, I literally have this much headroom. But it's just literally enough for me here. So, 5'5 five five will be the maximum uh, height allowed here in the gear seat. And it's strictly... I mean, you can somewhat fit three people here, but it's best for two people alone. And again, the seat's pretty much similar. I think all leather now, there's no fabrics anymore on the outer layer and oh my goodness I just saw now for the driver's seat only you get an armrest damn <laughs> and I think this is the best one in its class too because you get two cup holders on the left side here in the middle you get one cup holder and here on where I'm sitting on the right side you get a cubby space this is the most 
feature packed small EV you can buy out there. Chai Philippines release this immediately. This is such a good car. So, again, sit in the middle in case you want to fit a third person. Not so bad. And look, that's how you fold the sunroof. It's just simple as that. And the corner window seem pretty big, so you won't feel that as claustrophobic than usual compared with, again, uh, in this class of vehicle. So, yeah. That's all I can say for now. I cannot even say the price, which actually no one knows yet too. So for what this is, I am predicting around in the 700 and maybe tops out at 850,000 pesos. We will uh, know by uh, hopefully this year if Chai Auto Philippines will release this. So yeah, cannot even wait on how this will drive, how much this motor produces, and how it compares with the rest of the competition. But what I can say though, once this already has been released in the Philippines by then, this will be the most feature-packed small EV you can buy out there. So yeah, again, I would like to thank everyone here at Chai Quezon Avenue to Sir Errol, to Miss Ruby for making this mini preview slash walk around review possible. And hopefully in the future, we will get a proper drive of this along too with more specifications given. So hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you Hopefully soon with another video of this Cherry EQ1. Bye-bye.